So I'm going to make a video that I'm probably going to get some flack for, for those who are not thinking or those who are uh, incapable. Of, uh, let's see how those people receive criticism where criticism is due. I want to talk about today the the way that the entitled alt tech who claims to be speaking in the behalf of the people and in the best interest of the people and all that rhetorical ten, uh, mantra um, Let's define some terms here. There is research that proves that people who believe in what can be defined as right and left, like they are around, and I have made videos about that before. Now there is research about it out there. Check the research. It's not coming from me now only. So it should be, you like research, right? You like peer review papers and all that uh, bureaucratic nonsense. Okay, no, it's not nonsense, whatever. Bureaucratic language. Uh, bureaucratic language, okay. For whatever reasons, I'm not discussing the reasons. Uh, try to stick to the point. What can be defined as followers of the right are about three to five percent. Followers of the left, three to five percent. So what's the majority? Center. They are centrists. May you like the term or not, that's who they are. Now they have tried to denigrate the term. Why? Because there are people of the left and right that don't like it to come out. Because the whole right and left game is to make their part, that is very small, with 5 to 3 percent, there's research, check it, it is not coming out of my ass. They don't like the reality of the facts to come out because the reality is simple. It will, like, with the whole right left thing, they make, and I said it before, now there's research. They try to make those 5% become 50%. You understand? It, it's propaganda. It's smokescreen. It's gaslighting. It's not the reality. The reality is that about 90%, more or less, are center. They don't want to be right or left. If they have no choice, they will pick a side. And if you create the illusion that it's either your left or right, then they will pick a side. But the reality is that the majority of people just want to live their life happy. They don't want those radicalisms or reactionalisms, you know, because one calls the other reactionary, the other calls the other radicals. And that's how it goes. The majority of people don't have time for that. They need to work to pay their taxes to have a happy life. And at least a fulfilling life, if not happy. Uh, while those radicals those who love to play this middle class mind games, that are not nice. They're not nice. Because now I see, I started the whole out center thing and playing with the concept and all that. And some other people too, I don't take full credit, but I take some of the credit. Um... Because the objective was to start enlightening people that the majority are centrists, the majority are the center. What the alt tech has been doing, and they should stop and consider, call it a caveat. They are trying to say that the corrupt politicians, they are centrists. And no. So centrism, that should be the majority really, is being corrupted to once again be forced to pick a side. Do you understand? Suddenly centrism is evil by both 
the left and the right. Oh, they are not the left. They are centrists. They are the corrupt politicians. They don't represent us. Are you starting to realize the danger of it? That's propaganda again. It doesn't stop. Propaganda doesn't stop when there are people still fighting for it. And the people of the right say the same thing. Oh, those, those corrupt politicians, they don't represent us. They are centrists. They are evil. There is a geniality in that. It's a mind game that some people waste so much time to demonize the majority of people by adding very bad people to represent a tag that could be understood as the majority of people. So people will not want to be associated with right or left or with the center. They will be they will rather take it right or left than admit for a moment that they are indeed a center because they are in the center of the matter. But again, no movement continues if the people related to it don't step up and do something about it. And I criticized Gavin for leaving the Proud Boys and disavowing them instead of stepping up and say, look, perhaps he didn't do it because he has a skewed concept of what anarchism is, uh, but he just gave it to his worst possible enemies. Like, you don't leave something like that that you create for a joke or not. If it gains momentum and things that are nice or work, work well, they gain momentum, people add to it especially in a time like currently that people are looking for for a team and they don't want to be left and right team so they will take anything else because at the end of the day they saw what the right and left did they don't want to be a part of it so the geniality of the right or left actually I'm hearing it more from the left the right obviously don't like anyone that is not the right and they're even doubtful about the people on the right themselves so constantly checking them and so i heard that for more left related people trying to demonize the center the majority of people who are centrists the majority are centrists why are they centrists because they listen to both sides and they try their best to remain neutral because they have other interests other stuff to do in their lives they don't want to be a part of this mass murdering machines that both right and left have become. I mean, we have the entirety of the 20th century. If you doubt me, check it out. The amount of bloodbath of that century has been unparalleled in the history of humankind and shouldn't be repeated. So stop or avoid if you don't like me saying to stop avoid using avoid falling for this propaganda trap now I don't know which side is promoting it most and I'm not comparing dicks here that's not my intention but do avoid calling corrupt politicians for centrists because that's something they are not they clearly picked a side and they are rolling with it they're not centrists, they're not neutral, they're far from being neutrals. And they usually have some side. They are not centrists, what makes them by default not centrists. Well, let's put Macron, and I'm not attacking anyone, but just to illustrate. Macron, who is for me a corrupt politician, that's all he is, prove me wrong, uh, paid for by the people he's working to, He was a member of the Socialist Party. You know, who is his political godfather? Hollande, one of the responsibles, one of the main uh, core figures of the European Parliament that has a constitution that looks like the, 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 the Duma uh, Soviet constitution. Like, it's crazy. 
You know, and I'm not throwing stones here. That's not my intention. I'm just illustrating what is what. I'm not criticizing. If reality sounds like a criticism, there might be something wrong with the things being pointed out, not with the person who is pointing it out, right? So I would ask all people who claim to be intelligent or considerate or, or wishing to to be the best possible to help people and all that to avoid using the term centrist to to those corrupt politicians because they are not they picked a side they are corrupt they are not the rule they are the exception in the rule and they are definitely not centrist because they are not neutral and they refuse to listen to one of the sides more than the other so they are obviously not centrist and then we have those things oh but they're more like left-leaning centrist right-leaning right centrist left forget that they're either right or left or then the center the center is the majority we have research nowadays so it's not just me speaking there are about 90 percent of people are neither left or right but they might consider a side if they have no choice Therefore, it's very important, and I know I'm repeating myself, but I have to. It's very important that we don't use their propaganda, that we don't use the terms created by their propaganda. Macron, Merkel, uh, Hillary, Bernie, whatever. They are not centrists. They are far from being centrists. They're not open for debate, like centrists so. So consider this. Avoid using centrists. They're not. Okay? They're corrupt politicians. And they should be pointed out for being exactly that. Not centrists. Remember, they picked a side. Some of them are affiliated to very clearly with very uh, political parties with a very clear guideline that is definitely not centrist in any way shape or form so when you want to define it by that if you want to buy into the media propaganda and all that to demonize the center so people don't become neutral and they are forced to pick a side to create uh, antagonism between between people Avoid doing that. I, I'm asking. So it's not a command yet. I'm asking not to use the term centrist for those corrupt politicians. And that's all I have to say about that because it's not factual. Majority of people are not into those boats. Actually, they don't want anything to do with those problems. They want to solve them. They're the kind of people that vote for populism. Now, you could call, perhaps, populists for centrists. That would be more accurate. Because populists are neither left or right. They are really the people. And feel free to debate me if you think I'm being incorrect here. Or if you, if you think that you, you can lecture me in the terms so I can learn from you. you know, but what if I'm right? Right. 